What's up guys, I'm back again with the part 1 of creating unlocking system in Unreal Engine 4. And in this part what we are going to do is uh, we will be making a level selection system through which we can uh, load up different sort of levels. So what I have is, here is this simple mannequin jumping over here. Just a simple third person template provided by Unreal Engine. And what I have done is I have added three levels. This one is level its name is level and the second one is level 2 if you can open it it's pretty much the same I just changed the flow color and added some uh, different meshes and similarly is level 3 but before getting started with creating level selection we have what we have to do is we have to uh, start making the user interface for our level selection screen and for that we have to right click and we we'll have to search for user interface widget blueprint click on it and we have a widget blueprint you can rename it to something like level selection UI uh, open it and uh, in here we have to search for uh, blur background blur and add it to the canvas panel drag it like this and place it over here and anchor it to the middle of the screen like this and you can change the blur strength to something like 6.4 as you wish the next thing we will be doing is uh, we will be adding a uh, text to the uh, to our level selection screen add it to the canvas panel and uh, drag it over here change the text to something like level selection or level select and change the font size to 60 60 will be big enough uh, you can anchor the text to top center like this the next thing you can do is you can search for a button because obviously we we would be needing buttons so add that to the canvas and uh, canvas panel as well and drag it over here you can just copy and paste it like this to the canvas panel like this and you can do it again and again to create different and uh, buttons for different levels in my case i want four of these buttons so let's make another one uh, place it over here and now we can search for text and drag and drop the text to these buttons like this good now what we can do is select all of these by control and selecting all of these and going into the uh, anchor panel and anchoring them to the middle whereas the next button will be anchored to the bottom right hand corner and you can change the text of each button to level 1 uh, this one can be level 2 obviously because we will be using this button for level 2 for opening level 2 and the next button can be termed as uh, level 3 and the last one will be a special button it won't load any level but it will be a button to reset data so therefore the name of the button will be reset data and it will allow our player to reset or just delete the game progress whenever they are uh, playing the game so the next thing that we can do is uh, we have to create functionality for our main menu but before that what we have to do is we have to create a special map for our main menu for that what we can do is we can select any of these levels and we can duplicate make to, uh, we can duplicate these levels to make a new one and you can name it to something like main or we can say main menu level and our main menu level is loaded what you can do is we can just delete all of these static meshes and also our player start point delete all of these select all of these and press delete the next thing that we can do is go into the world settings and under the game mode you can set the game mode override to none because we don't want our player to be spawned in our main menu level now you can save all and the next thing we can do is we can open the level blueprint 
of our main menu level and from even begin play what we want is uh, wait a second what we have to do first is inside our main menu level what we have to add is a camera a camera actor so we have to search in the modes for camera and drag and drop this camera to our scene and place it somewhere here and now back in our level blueprint so from even begin play we have to search for uh, just turn off the context sensitivity for better results and now search for camera blend because I clearly don't remember the name of the node this one is the node which we require set view blend with target by using this node what we can do is we can set our, our default camera to the uh, camera actor which we just created just turn off the content turn, context sensitivity and search for the camera actor reference and connect it to this and and connect it to the new view target and the target will be connected to get player controller if you compile everything's fine and if you play now our default camera is the camera actor we, which we created so one thing which I want to fix right now is the borders so just turn off the constraint aspect ratio and go back into our level blueprint and from here we have to search for set show mouse cursor and set the show mouse cursor to true and whereas the target will be connected to the player get player controller <coughs> from set show mouse from from set show mouse cursor we will be searching for create widget and from the return value of this widget we will be searching for add to viewport add to viewport just like this whereas the class of this um, create widget will be the level select UI so if you compile so if you play the game as you can see everything is fine but if you noticed our mannequin or our main character just spawned in the background uh, which is totally unnecessary so in order to fix that what we are going to do is from our event begin play we will be uh, casting a node for set game paused and the set game paused will be true and what it will do is that it will just set the background screen or the background level to paused and nothing will happen so the last thing we have to do is we have to create some functionalities for each and every button for that select the first button and go into the events on clicked events and uh, similarly go into the second button but first but first of all what we have to do is I would like to just rename all of these buttons so that it is much more easier to understand for you and me as well so just rename the first button to something like button level 1 uh, the second button can be renamed to something like button level 2 uh, whereas the third level can be obviously renamed to button level 3 and the last one I would like to just rename it to something like button reset or button reset data giving names to each and every button makes it much more easier to understand and uh, it is much more clear whenever you open these sort of uh, these blueprints whenever you are debugging or you are just checking if there is any error again select the second button and go into the events on clicked make a on clicked event similarly do the same for the third button or the level 3 button on clicked event and make a similar on click event for the last button press the on click event okay now we have four events uh, the first one for the level one what we will be searching for is a open level node open level just control w to duplicate it over here and control w again to duplicate over here and connect it like this and set the level name for the first button to uh, what is the name of our first level so the name of our first level is simply level so just 
you, what you can do is either rename it or what you can do is just simply control C and control V the name control C control V and it will be pasted over here whereas the second level is named uh, level 2 so just change the open level name to level 2 so that as soon as the level uh, the button 2 is clicked it will open the level 2 whereas the if but uh, whereas if button 3 is pressed it will open level 3 and combine save and if we go back and play the game again if you press level uh, the register button it doesn't do anything because we will be setting up the functionality for that later on but if you press the level uh, level 1 button it will take us to level 1 and if you press the level 2 button it will take us to level 2 so on and so forth and in the upcoming videos what we are going to do is that we will be uh, making a locking system a proper lo locking system uh, using save game slots and uh, blue booleans and uh, trigger boxes so so yeah this is it for today's video i'll see you guys next time until then peace